Hi, my name is Dirk Schmidt and welcome to another episode of the Iron Van Adventures presented by Iron Man 4x4. I am currently in my favorite place in the world, the Kalahari. This road is the road between Askam and Van Zalsris. I left Johannesburg this morning. I'm on my way to meet up with a few friends, one friend in particular's 40th birthday, and we're just going to have a ball over the weekend. So this road is quite a little treacherous road. It's got a lot of little bumps and undulations. So um, I'm going to deflate to about 1.6, 1.7 bar. And this is the Ironman 4x4 Speedy Deflator. How it works is you put it into your valve and you unscrew the valve and it actually deflates at a rapid pace. So let's take it on with these foam cell pros and just enjoy this amazing weekend with me. I'm solo once again, but I'm going to meet up with my friends. You'll love them, I swear. Let's go. A beautiful sunset drive was most welcome after a long day of driving. As it got darker, the Ironman 4x4 spotlights were activated. Spotlights are a good tool when driving in rural roads. On this specific road, you get a lot of nocturnal creatures like bat-eared foxes and owls. I had just over two hours in the saddle and the final destination was Dragon Farm. Situated between Askam and the Kalahari Transfrontier Park, this was our home for our Kalahari party. The camping facilities were really nice with my own private ablution. <laughs> Unhappy baby. Unhappy baby. Let's fight. Stand up for the camera. Hello, I'm Dirk. <laughs> we made our way to the main lodge to soak in the late morning sun and indulge in a huge breakfast. So we can grow. There we know how on the city that we can go. We can wait. Simon, did you say? Get a knee. Hello, Peter. Happy birthday to you. Skip your video. Yeah, fuck you. It has been a major chill day at Dragon Farm. Dragon Farm situated close to the Khalakhari Transfrontier Park and then also very close to the Botswana border. It's a beautiful farm and as I understand there are a couple of dunes that we're going to be driving in the following couple of days. But for now we're going to go to a sunset spot so we're all going to be driving out to the sunset spot, enjoy a sundowner and the entire day has been spent in the pool and just taking it easy and Everybody's just having a ball. And tonight, we're going to be celebrating my friend Peter Stein's 40th birthday. There's a nice uh, spit braai going. So we're going to go for sundowners and then the party commences. We identified a sunset spot with a little inclined dune and of course, we had to get to the top in style.
Vicky, okay. how was it? Listen, it was fun. I must Every admit that too. Try twice. Doing it, at the practice. All of them. And, and, I, and I don't have a green Iron Man sticker on the side of my car. You know, that adds 30 horsepower. 30 horsepower and a few less cares. A few less even. This one will, will not make the edit. <laughs> oh, it will. <laughs> It was, it was a, a joke video at first. Hello, Peter. <laughs> Hello. Fiori Lake. Yeah, thank you. Really? You come and give me a hug. And the can. Hello, Jelle. Hello, Turkey. Hi, Dad. How's it? Good and you? Lake. What is this for? Ach. When am I going to drive the car? <laughs> Do you want to drive the car? Up the hill. Really? You can reverse it up. <laughs> yeah, it's rare, desperate for a free one. Yeah! Because it's fine. How's it? <laughs> nice, nice, brother, nice. Look, give me a video of you. Yeah. Yeah, this is very unsmokelijk. Mits, we're going to take the photo of you. And then we're going to take the photo of you. Yeah, it's a video. I think it's a photo of you on the cock. So it's nice, brother, nice, nice. But then... The next day, we got to see new residents moving into Dragon Farm, Giraffe. Well known for their long necks, these giants are the world's tallest living land animal. An adult male can grow to around 5.5 meters. Their favorite food is the acacia tree. They use their long necks to reach the leaves and buds in treetops. Their tongues help them pull down the leaves and can grow to about 53 centimeters long. Giraffe can consume up to 45 kilograms of leaves and twigs in a single day. In the wild, giraffe can live to around 25 years of age. Activity for the day. Drag on 4x4 route and then a big dune. So we're going to take it on and see how we go. And I've got a passenger, Mr. Uh, Simon Sonicus. Hello. Oh, this is very unflattering. We got the cameras ready, ready to roll. That's right. The 4x4 route goes through beautiful Kalahari scenes. A few small dunes on the way to the big dune prepares the 4x4 skills on what's to come. The dune looks easy, but believe me, it takes a lot of power and torque to get up there. And the last little stretch requires proper momentum to get through the thick sand. Everyone got up quite easily with two attempts max. The iron van with me and Simon, however, took a few attempts.
we deflated the tires a tad more and on attempt number four, we finally got up with great cheers from the peanut gallery. Good morning, it's a beautiful morning in the Kalahari on Dragon Farm and I'm on top of a dune. I drove out early this morning from the campsite to come watch the sun rise and look how spectacular that is. Uh, the Kalahari sunsets and sunrises are some of the best in the world. It's day three of a Kalahari party and today we're going to go to Hoxkey and Pan. Now that's a pan where they set land speed records so I think we're just going to take the cars onto the pans and uh, play a little but uh, it's just been magical being in the Kalahari. If you do like the videos please like and subscribe and share with your friends. I just came over the dune and I was looking at the sociable weaver nest and I spotted a Varroa eagle owl. It is a beautiful creature. Wow, I'm so excited. I love seeing owls in the day. Super special. We inflated our tires for a small section of tar and arrived at Hoxkin Pan, probably the flattest place in South Africa. Hoxkin Pan is a mud and salt pan located in the Kalahari Desert. The pan covers an area of approximately 140 square kilometers. In Afrikaans, Hoxkin means hill, which is probably a reference to the shape of the pan on a map. Pan is the Afrikaans word for dry lake. We could not resist to test our vehicles on the pans, and with no speed limits in sight, silliness ensues. Today was an absolute epic day. I think everyone had so much fun at Hawkskin Pan. And tonight we're brying around the Boma. Tomorrow we're heading to Khalakhari Transfrontier Park only for the day. I am very excited though because it's my favorite park in South Africa. I am at the exact same spot I was this morning. So if you want to see sunsets in the Kalahari, just have a look at this. Zullen opgewonnen voor die Galagadi? Ja. <laughs> ja. Ik weet niet, is die Lion Whisperer? Yes. Ga je voor ons liefst krijgen? Klagereel. Klagereel. Kom niet, kom. <laughs> ah, ah. Are you guys excited for the Galagadi? Very much! 
Dutch. <laughs> Did you see there's an animal spotting game? There is. Are you going to play it? Hopefully. Can we go by on scant or say excited us? No, we flip. Are you excited, Wena? Very. Are you never guys excited give. for you never give me? You guys excited for the Khalakhari? Can't wait. So excited. Been wanting to come here for years. Okay, great. Fine. On is the after? Sin by eight, yeah. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Is jij opgewonden voor die Khalakhari? <laughs> ja. Kan ik even kijken? Hoe kom? Want die zon is in mijn oor. Is het beter? Ja, dankie. Jullie moeten het genieten, hoor. Mooi rij. Dankie, praat bij je achter. Zullen opgewonden? Very excited. Dat is hij. Dankie. Baie, baie. Dankie. Dankie voor je geleentheid. Dat is hij, hoor. We were up bright and early to get the most of our one day in the Khalakhari Transfrontier Park. And we got some pretty special sightings. it does feel good to be back in the Khalakhari Transfrontier Park. I'm looking at fork-tailed jongos. Interesting little fact about them, I saw on a BBC documentary, they actually learn the alarm call of a meerkat. And what happens is the meerkats would be on their daily route, foraging and whatever, and then the fork-tailed jongos would sound an alarm call when there's danger from above, eagles trying to hunt them, the meerkats of course. But then what would happen is, once the meerkats actually have sufficient prey, a scorpion, uh, whatever they catched, then the forktail jongo would sound the alarm, but there would be no danger from above. So they would trick the meerkats, so the meerkats would actually drop the food and go into their burrows. And then the forktail jongo would swoop in and grab that hard earned meal. But meerkats are clever. They only get caught once or twice, and then they learn that these jongos are not our friends. Hey, my friend, I swear I said... As the day gets hotter, the animals start to head for shade. Always keep your eyes peeled to the ground for some good interactions during this time. For example, ground squirrel zoomies. We stopped over at one of the park's picnic sites to build a big breakfast about halfway through our day route. Willem, this is a big business. This is a very good business. But this is a small thing. We can learn. We learn from the ear. So, sorry, I'm going to get two patches. Where is the fee? Okay, we have just finished with our enormous breakfast and there is 
giraffe on the way down to the drinking hole. It is a beautiful sight in the Khalakhari. On the way out of the park, we were very lucky to spot a pride of Kalahari lions. Even my lose. Dat ik het jou beloven. Ik reel altijd hier goed is. Um, dat vat partij kan het een beetje lang. Uh, ik heb gezien mensen het een beetje moeilijk geraakt, maar alle was daar. Die hoofdlijn net van ons deur gekomen, dat was antwoord. Ik heb je opgelet dit niet. Wat was mijn lieuw droog kan je niet. Mag ik zeggen? Zeg. Lieuw droog. Hel. Ik ben seks toen jullie. This was the end of our Kalahari party, and what a weekend it was. Sunsets, laughs, dunes, wildlife, and love. Thank you so much to my friends for one eventful weekend. And thank you so much for watching. If you do like the videos, please like and subscribe. And see you next time. Stay safe. <laughs>